Oh, now we have bond. Let's see if this helps. Not good. Definitely not. No, oh, it's lethal coming straight for us. So yeah, if I had distortion there, that would have been quite good. Yep. Pop killers. Pull that down. No, no, no! Okay, that's that. That might be all the hatchets. That might be all the hatchets. Oh wait, no. She has more. Maybe this ocean is a good play, you know. Might be. Holy side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why it's difficult. We go against super good killers. I don't know how, how like, how do Survivor main content creators get their content when they go against, like, really good killers? Or they should be going against really good killers all the time. Like, what do they do, guys? I don't watch them. Like, what is their content? Anyone who watches it. I just, I don't get it. They die a lot, do they? So, is it kind of similar to what I experience here? And they just wait for that one baby killer or something? Five hundred games get two good games. That's two applause. But why do that if you could just smurf and get what you're looking for anyway? That's that's one thing I've always wondered. Like if your content is looking for baby killers, why waste loads of time going against really good players if you could just have a smurf account? I don't I don't get it. I don't I don't understand that they're looking for something they could find instantly, but would rather waste hundreds of hours until they finally find it. It doesn't make logical sense. This is why I'm like, you know, suspicious of Smurf accounts. Because it's just, it, it's, it's logical. Like if your whole point, or your whole content is looking for baby killers, Making a Smurf account will give you your content instantly. So you guys, you know, watching these Survivor main streamers, do they go through what I go through with these killers? Like, these really just strong as fuck, good perk synergy, strategy, killers. Do they go through this and look for the bad killer, or do they get continually bad killers? They die a lot because they do meme stuff, so they don't go up in MMR. It could be that. There's something going on, I think. And I'm so curious about it. And when you talk about it, a lot of people get very uh, paranoid and almost like offended that you want to kind of just work out something you're observing. On their streams, they'll face good killers and then die. Hmm. So do they... Do they not try to, like, win? Do they try and just run to the killer, try and loot them for a while? If they die really quick, they move to the next one. And if they keep dying, 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 their MMO is going to get so low that they'll start going against weaker uh, killers. Is it something like that? We have live here, so we can do something potentially. Just need to work out what she wants. Oh, we need to leave.
perfect uh, chance to lead when she does that. They escape more than I do. That doesn't make sense then. So their content is looking for really bad killers. Ooh. Back off. We do have a live potential. Bamboozle? No bamboozle. Sounds like brutal though. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely brutal. How are they escaping more and going against worse killers? It doesn't make sense to me, man. Seven Hachi was good, yeah. I think this girl has Brutal. Brutal on Huntress is quite good. You can break the pallet and then get line of sight quicker. It's something I was fucking with at one point. Look at that. When you tap it, she floats. <laughs> Does everyone do this or just Laura? Oh, she was just a die more slow. The stuff I've seen, Ronnie, it's the killer, not the survivor. I'm gonna shift W to get the uh, distance instead. Because I need to mend as well. Live. Ah! Fucking hell, I can't even dodge it. Like, she's shooting for the window, I know she is, but. Aim. Uh, I don't know, people say they're not, uh... I did film DVD, but I'm going to... I'm going to say something serious there, Jods. So I'm going to to escape while the killer uh, is focused on winning. Playing on the main account together with someone on a smurf account. Easy and less suspicious. The difference is massive with just one smurf. That was a theory I had. Um, because whenever Swift do you guys, and I understand how it works. Like if you Swift with someone um, who yes. is, you know, they don't play as much. They're uh, the lower MMR. You're going to get matched with an easier killer. But wouldn't that be really obvious that they've always got one person in the party who doesn't talk? Won't people see through that? I just make it. Oh, it's on number four. I think that'd be like a really easy tell. Not on the YouTube it isn't, on the stream it would be. Yeah, that's true. I don't think we can get her. Would Babysitter be able to get her? No, probably not. I don't think we can get her. 
a huntress next to a hawk. I don't, I don't, I, I don't think it's possible. And we're both on death hook. Nah. I mean, see if she comes over here, but she won't. See where the other team is. Yeah, I don't think it's possible. It's it's a mortar. I'm not more than some random, random teammate. It's not possible. She had a really good aim. Change uh, your Steam name. Free. No one knows the diff in a game on YouTube. Is. Mm. No, we're not saving it. It'd be a mortar. And she's just a random person we're playing with, so. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, Jeej. Got to 